back down like three times faster. Frustrated playing this video game. Oh well. And of course it bounces me all the way to the outside. What do we got? all the way back. Did I leave one of them up this time? I don't even remember. I don't think I left one of the pork lines up this time. I think I should leave. I'm very fucking dead. Nope, never mind. We're good. No, I didn't. Okay, we're good. At least the pork line's dead. There's one more, like, major issue I gotta watch out for. I went too fast. I hate this game, dude. I absolutely hate this video game. <laughs> I managed to clip the roof just enough to make it so I couldn't make that jump across. And I'm very gonna eat that one in the ass, too. So I use circle to try to prevent myself from going forward. Done, 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 done. I have no idea how I didn't eat that seal on the face. I'm probably not gonna make it through here. Nope. Not going to at all because that triggers way too soon. What have I got? <sighs> the icicles also trigger. Oh goody, I'm gonna lose a couple lives to my controller constantly flipping out. It's always fun. Yeah, ice physics in this game are and I did it again. I got the shit pattern for the wooden There are different patterns you get when you come up, it's not set for that first uh, squash platform. And I just so happen to have gotten a really bad pattern. Normally you can just slide through, but the last like I think three times I've done this, I've gotten a crap pattern where like, you cannot slide through. You can't one cycle it, you have to wait. And it's really hard to tell if you have to want wait or not. Oh, cool. And then for whatever reason, he just doesn't fucking jump like he's supposed to. So instead of hitting that box and backtracking, I now have to commit suicide and go back to the stage. Kind of curious what caused that. It was probably emulator lag would be my guess. Because I am playing these on emu. I'm going to guess that yeah, last one had to be emulator lag. Because he just didn't read an input. Great. I would prefer to not leave any of those. And somehow I, I somehow clipped the top again. I don't understand. I made sure to spin. Oh, this is just frustrating. Man, there goes the controller again. Stop doing that, please. I suppose I can start doing it like that from now on. I don't have to worry about one cycling when it just isn't there for me. This is the last gem I need to. And then I can beat the game. Everything else is done. Like, the level isn't even hard compared to any of the other stages. It's just the ice physics that make it difficult. Like, if it didn't have the ice physics, or if the ice fix physics worked a little bit more better than what they do currently, it's gonna be just go all the way through. And now I'm stuck in the background. Should be fine. 
Nope, flip that fucking nitro box somehow. Okay, there, all box is done. This shit is pretty much over with. I shouldn't die to anything on the normal route. I say that, but watch me get smashed by the first thing that comes up. Just break all that. I can't afford to spin, so. Oh good, it, it almost legitimately fucking killed me because I got stuck inside the TNT crate as it was about to detonate. You know, I had to... Oh, I would have quite lost my shit if that had happened. Get out of my face. Porcupine looking porcupine. I should just be able to jump in. Or don't jump crash, you know, that works too. You know, I, I'm only mashing the X button. I hit it like three times as I got to that point, and I assumed on the, on the third one it would just give it to me. But I guess I was wrong on that one. Actually, if I recall, that jump right there, I might be, Yeah, no, I think it's that one. It's kind of awkward because I guess of how the in cave, or the cave caves in. What the fuck, dude? I'm getting, like, turbo inputs. Interesting. But anyway, because of how that cave comes down, the top does, you can actually clip the top of the cave as you go to make that jump, which in turn will kill you in, with no questions asked, because you just don't have enough momentum to get over to the top, or the other side. There we go. Whatever, DC, I don't care at this point. I'm not dying 15 times before I finish the stage. There's no way I'm willing to believe that I am that bad. Granted, now I'm kind of flip-flopping all over the place. Should be three. 136. Oh, wait, no, I got lucky. I clipped the scenery, which let me fly onto the other side. Fresh breaking crates here, because I cannot believe I didn't make that jump. It literally felt like I fell through the floor. Granted, yes, the, sh the hop might have been a little bit short of a, of a full on dash there. I just find it really hard to believe I didn't clip or catch that spot. Not quick enough. Gym. Let's go. That's the map. I don't know why I didn't think about going back to that deathless pad before, but whatever. That's all gems. Is there a cutscene that plays? Uh, here, actually, we'll go up the floor. Okay, now we're going to do 
quick look here at our percentage. All 42 gems, all 25 crystals. We're good there. Now we just gotta beat Cortex for that last 3%. Like I said, I knew I could do it. It was just it was just gonna take me a minute because I started getting impatient. And that one you can't get impatient on. It just it doesn't work. Ice physics plus impatience equals you're pretty much gonna die. And then you got this map here, which is a pain in the ass. I just don't like jetpack physics either, but that's just because like up and down are inverted, but left to right are left normal. Basically, it's a race. You just gotta get as close as you can to Cortex and hit him. Damn, I that rock in the face. I need another rock. Got him. Luckily, the mines don't kill you and nothing really. I don't think anything can kill you in here. To be honest, outside of him, just reach and go before you. Got him. Right as he reached the goal. No! Now I'll leave you with this. The last of me, Crash Bandicoot. Crash, what do you suppose happened to Cortex? And what about the Cortex Vortex? It's still up there. That's Crash Bandicoot 100%. I might have missed some uh, hidden gems. I think there's a couple, like two hidden gems that I missed. Because I was expecting a cutscene for getting all of them and I didn't get it, so. Give me a minute, let me look into that real quick. Unless you can't get it until after you beat Cortex the first time. It's not bad. I at least got it figured out. I've managed to figure out about the bonus box two up top. Which I don't think I was getting either on that map. Hopefully everything still looks good. Could look good in OBS last time I checked. Yeah, everything looks good. I'm also streaming on a higher resolution than what I was before. Thought I would try it. So it looks like it's paying off. Sure, I got all the others done. Well, okay, let's see. <laughs> you have acquired all of the gems. Incredible. <laughs> Crystals are not the only means. Harnessing planetary energy. Right. <laughs> the gems have that ability as well. And with them, I can destroy the cortex vortex forever. 